Welcome back to Rebel Star Tactical Command. When we finished the last thing, we got rid of uh, all the enemies in the uh, bot factory, the Freylar. I'm concerned about the Freylar, Dr. Bronston. Really? I thought you were concerned about the Zorn. Well, yes, because I didn't mention the Freylar before, you know. Oh, I see. They're not normally active in this area. Uh, yes, this is uh, very interesting. Uh, Dr. Bronstein, do you know something you're not telling me? What? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I don't like the way this is looking. Trailer always likes to be near the Aurelian bases so they can acquire technology. So there could be an Aurelian base near here? Yes, just recently constructed, I would guess. Our security is becoming very precarious. True, but there may be opportunities, too. Capturing an Aurelian, eh? Let's deal with our security problems first. Chapter 12, Base Defense. Thank you for your report, Jarrell. We need to act quickly. Zorn are approaching on all sides. I am promoting you to Lieutenant. Oh god, he, he's giving him actual, like, responsibilities. Um, oh god. But sir, there's no time for arguments. You are now responsible for choosing and deploying squads. Yep, so from this point forward, not only we get um, uh, a bit more choice into where our people are starting, but um, it also means that uh, we aren't just given equipment at the beginning of matches anymore. We actually have to um, conserve ammunition, and uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And you can select equipment from the armory, too. Understood? I think so, sir. One more thing. Gordo and Elris will be joining your team. Oh? Yep. Why? Because I said so. I don't think Gorgo will like that. He will get used to it. He can be a good leader, too. Use him to leave squads if you need to. Now get your squad deployed to the East Gate! Yes, sir. Mission loading. You can now equip your squad from the armory before sending them into battle. Choose Equip Squad from the menu. Nice. So we currently have access to Jarrell, Zack, Ruby, Sapphire, and Carlos. So, this screen shows the available equipment in the armory. Use the L or R button and change the equipment category. Use the A button to give the highlighted item equipment to the character. Press select to view the information about the equipment. Control pad to view character's equipment in more detail or return equipment to the armory. So, this screen shows a list of equipment carried by the character. Press A button to return a highlighted item to the armory. Top panel shows the total weight of the equipment carried and the maximum weight that can be carried. Remember that a character's action points are reduced when more weight is carried. If the maximum weight is reached, then a character's action points are reduced by half. Okay, so we're going to be dropping the um, pistol because. No. Um. Let's see, if I recall right, Carlos did have a pretty decent rifle skill, but I'm gonna give him a... Ah, and we also have here rifles. Ah. See, yeah, he's got a foreign skill. I don't know why I pointed towards my screen like that, because you can't see my finger. But um, it actually shows his um, equipment, or his skills, which is really good. Um, ooh, fire grenade. Um, you're going to be my scout, so mm, if I did anything, it might be smoke grenade. Let's see, how much... Nine, not too bad. Yeah, I think that's okay. 
Jarrell, you've got an assault rifle and a high, or high explosive grenade. That sounds okay. Zach, Zach, you're a Lego maniac. Um, so, we've got the chain gun, obviously. We've got flamethrowers. Flamethrowers is not a bad idea. Because flamethrowers allow you to um, uh, take out um, foliage, which is kind of nice. Um, a blaster, which is more of a cannon, and a rocket launcher, which um, yeah, essentially is like a grenade that, um, you know, you can shoot. Of course, I've only got 15 rockets, which isn't too bad, but for now... Seven out of 27. What if I handed you a flamer? It's not too bad, and I'm not expecting you to be moving that much, so that should be okay. Now, you have no skills in anything that, so, um... For starters, I'm getting rid of your pistol. Come on. Not the easiest thing to move around. Um, I'm going to hand you an SMG. I think that might be your best option. Um, yeah, Jarrell, skills four in that. Skill 7 in Sniper, or Rifles in general. Um, skills 4, 4, and 4. So, in general, about 4 for people. With Ruby as a positive outlier. Deployment. No, oh, yeah, these are all the people I'm gonna take. Start mission. Oh. Ah, gray panel shows the number of characters currently deployed in the maximum squad and the name of the character to be deployed. You can deploy a character on a blue colored square, press A button to deploy. You can remove a character by going to the cursor and hitting the A button. Press B button to return the character's uh, screen or press start to begin the battle. Okay, so, we start here, that's Eris, and Gordo, um, who's standing in front of a whole bunch of explosive barrels, so the first thing you're going to be doing, Gordo, is running the F away. So, it looks like our base is towards this end with the enemy coming up there. Is that? Nope, that was just the uh, office chair. So. Yeah, Jarrell. Let's do the more open area. So yeah, I think I want Jarrell here, Ruby here, Sapphire, you're our medic, so I want you kind of put away. Carlos is here. Finally, since there's a whole bunch of foliage over here, I want Zach over here, and in fact, Yeah, I think I'd probably prefer that setup. Now, 
No, you just default to chain gun no matter what. Carlos with the knife there. Eh, yeah, whatever. So, mission begin. You, uh, you've got eight shots with the flamer. Um, I definitely want you to get rid of these trees if you can. So I'll have you walking there. Gordo. Yes. Uh, okay, what are your stats, Gordo? Let's see, let's say you got a smoke grenade. Speed's pretty good. Decent strength. Um, okay, leadership. You're just kind of a prick. Uh, wait. You have no skills in rifles. Who needs rifles? I'm squad leader. But you're carrying a rifle now. Even if it's a submachine gun, it's a rifle. Pfft. Oh god. Okay. You just... Just... Uh. Yeah, that works. You... Pull out your rifle. And I'm gonna want you... Probably facing this direction more. Carlos the Panther understands. Eris! Hmm. How are you doing, Eris? Oh, I'm doing quite fine. Let's see what uh, your skills are in. Let's see. Ah, you're our secondary medic with no med kit. Oh, I didn't think I needed a med kit. Why did you think you didn't need a med kit? Well, you know, we're just defending an area. Y yeah, don't you think we'll probably get shot at? Is that something you think will happen? Oh god. Oh god, why? Sapphire? Yes. Um, you're probably going to be on medic duty. I've noticed. Probably uh, hang, hang tight where you are. That's perfectly fine. And get your med kit ready. That sounds like a plan. Ooh. Hello. I spotted the enemy. Good job, Ruby. And I didn't shoot it that well. So I noticed Ruby. So I'm going to have you here. Tilting that way. Prepping a snap burst that direction. You're almost out of uh, get you ready with a burst there. Well, the enemy will be uh, upon us very shortly. And with that, we'll call it a video for now. And next time, we are going to be engaging in base defense. God help us all.